Okay guys, this is going to be your first video in dimensional analysis and on your paper you have the steps listed. So I'm not going to read you the steps. You simply have them there for reference and then I'm going to do some examples with you. Okay? And these first ones are all going to be one step problems. Okay. So, um, one step example. How many minutes are in 12 hours? So the first thing you do is pick out the conversion factor that you're going to use. Now I know that there are 60 minutes in one hour. Okay. So then the question is what part of the conversion factor goes on the bottom? On the bottom you are going to put the unit you're trying to get rid of. And the reason why is so that you the units cancel. Okay. Then, what part of the conversion factor goes on the top? Well, it's the other part. So, whatever it's equal to. In other words, the one you're trying to find. And the reason why is because you want to keep that one. So let's try this. So we're going to convert 12 hours two minutes and the way that you do this is I have the conversion factor 60 minutes is one hour so the part I want to get rid of goes on the bottom and then the other part goes on the top and if you can see uh, 12 hours times minutes divided by hours the hours will cancel out so the answer is just 12 times 60 Okay, so we have 12 times 60, and that's going to be 720. If you notice, um, we were given two significant figures, so we're going to put two in our answer, and we already have two, so that's perfect, and that's minutes. Okay? Okay, so let's do some more examples from your actual work. We have our conversion factors there at the top. I don't give you ones that I think you already know, like the hours to minutes thing. But if you need a conversion factor, it's right there. If you can't find it, let me know and I'll help you. Um, so all of these problems are going to be one step in this first section. Okay, so I'm going to do number one. It says three hours to minutes. So this is just like what we just did. So we're going to write three hours down. We need to think, okay, so I need to think about a conversion factor for hours to minutes and I know that one hour equals 60 minutes. Okay. So the hour is going to go on the bottom and that is so these cancel out. The 60 minutes goes on top. So the answer would be three times 60 which is 180 minutes. Let's do another one. Number two says take 250 milligrams to grams. So 250 milligrams. So this is what I'm thinking. I need to know how many milligrams are in a gram. And they don't tell me at the top. And the reason they don't tell me at the top is because I should know this, okay? We just did metric conversions last packet. Um, in one gram, I know that there's 1,000 milligrams. And I know that because of King Henry. King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. And milligrams is here and grams is here. And that is one, two, three spots away. That means there's 1,000 little ones and one big one. Okay, so we have 1,000 milligrams on the bottom and we have one gram on the top. Milligrams cancel out. If you notice, this looks a tiny bit different than the first example. The first example, I had 3 times 60 divided by 1. In this one, I have 250 times 1 divided by 1,000. So if it's on top, you're going to multiply. If it's on the bottom, 
you're going to divide. And I just did that math in my head. 250 divided by 1,000 is 0 0.250 grams. Let's do number three. Number three says 0 0.035 milligrams, and I'm going to centigrams. <coughs> and this is what I'm thinking over here. I'm thinking that King Henry, millis right here and centis right here. That's only one spot. That means I have 10 little ones and one big one. So 10 milligrams and one centigram. So the 10 milligrams is going to go on the bottom so those guys cancel out. The one centigram goes on top. So 0 0.035 milligrams times 1 divided by 10. So that is 0 0.0035 centigrams.